Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are for another, up, another episode of Uncle Bob's Piggery. Uh, number five, I think we're up to. So we've got our um, harvester here ready to go to harvest our um, corn. We've still got to um, plant our couple of fields to the left over here. Get that done this episode. Hopefully we can um, replay our and seed and fertilize this field as we need to um, I think that's pretty much all we're gonna be able to do this episode it does take a fair bit of time um, the pigs still need a heap of corn um, so I think we probably should just put corn absolutely everywhere for now and um, get as much corn as we can to keep our uh, little piggies happy I'm going to do something different this time. I'm going to harvest across this way and try and take this area out and then just have this area down the bottom to finish off. But, um, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series so far. We're running up to episode number five. Um, only doing one a week does take a while for us to get through the series, but um, with me having so many other series that I've got running at the same time, it's kind of hard. They are limited to um, recording times and all that sort of stuff. I'm also still trying to do a whole heap of um, Let's Build episodes. Um, they seem to be the most popular popular um, stuff on the channel at the moment. Um, a lot of you people watching this episode now are probably only here because you've seen my Let's Builds. Um, that's probably brought a lot of you people to me that would never have seen me otherwise um, so it's it's definitely good for me definitely good for the channel and um, hopefully it's good for you guys too but we've hit just hit 6,000 subscribers so I want to thank each and every one of you uh, new and old all the subscribers um, it does mean a lot when I started this channel I never expected to get you know 50 people 100 people to even subscribe when I started with FS17 um, and now we're up over 6,000 and steadily increasing heading towards that big 10k mark but one thing I guess I'd like to ask you guys is what do you want to see do you want to see more farm sim would you like to see some other games um, let me know what would you like to see for our 10,000 subscriber special um, whether we do like a special episode, special live stream, a special giveaway, something like that, um, maybe even a special build, like there might be someone out there that would like some help in designing a farm, would like me to do it with you, or do it for you, you know, let me know, um, if, you, if you're interested, and we, we can work out what we want to do for our 10k subscriber special, I'd like to be able to design my own farm uh, that would be one thing but the mod uh, Giants editor, like the modding editor is a lot harder than using the in-game in tools so yeah I don't know how I'll go I haven't modded a map before I haven't modded anything in my life so it will either go reasonably good or it will go terrible so we can have a look at it, but I said I really don't know how we're going to go. Uh, what's this guy? This guy's the Colty Plow and your Lana. Um, okay. We'll get you out of the way because we have to go and get a trailer. Let's empty our harvester out. I do remember now that I left them there from that last episode when we finished off that other field, so um, just bring this guy over and you can start uh, cultivating the field I think it's a cultivate, I can't remember what it is now yeah it definitely is I don't think you like going there. 
bloody hide workers. They don't work anywhere near as hard as me. Let's try and straighten up, hit hide worker again and see. Let him go. See what he does. Um, actually, I think we planted corn, corn over there. We did so. Uh, wheat and barley, sunflowers. We're gonna get heaps of corn from over there. We might plant corn there again, so we might do sunflowers on these other fields. Um, I won't plant it now. I'll obviously go and get that trailer and unload our. Oh, it's up. Oh, our worker is over here doing his thing. Alright, so disconnect that. So you see how much frame rate loss we get with all these trees and shrubs and stuff that we've put in. It's um, not ideal. What's that there? Oh, that's the plow. Remember, I did leave that there too so we can use it after harvesting the corn. Oh, I think our um, trailer is over here. Uh, maybe not. Where is our trailer? There, wherever that is. That's where it should be. I obviously didn't put it back after the last episode. I think it'll be over here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, so watch out for that tree. I don't know how we're going with manure and stuff. We might be able to start using our own manure. That was, um, my goal was to be like a self-sufficient farm especially with like uh, manure and silage and that sort of stuff and then also using all of our crops to feed our pigs and that sort of thing so that was my plan my long-term goal we'll have a quick look how are they um, yeah there's not much in there there really isn't but they're good for straw and water is still pretty good. We just need um, a whole heap more corn. Um, $300,000 loan, so we've still got to try and pay that off. Uh, what do we got? 59 pigs. I can't remember um, how many we can actually put in. Uh, pigs, there we go. 150, okay. Actually, and there's a um, new small horse paddock as well, which I've downloaded. Which I think it only takes. I can't even really see it. There we go. Tiny little one. I think it only takes. Yeah, it only takes two horses. So twelve and a half thousand dollars for two horses. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can um, put in a fair amount of those all throughout the farm. If you want to do a um, a horse farm for yourself, someone's uh, probably my uh, Chellington Chellington Race Stables. So the idea behind that series was to do just horses um, but it's more of a stud farm and we're just producing uh, race horses um, obviously we don't can't reproduce horses in the game um, but that's sort of just like the background story behind Chellington Uh, we do have a new mod as well, which we can use. I might show you guys and have a quick look at. Um, you guys have probably already seen it if you've seen my Ravenport vanilla build, the Easy Start vanilla build that I've done. The new mod, um, which allows us to put down a square or a box of grass, which I think is in here somewhere, which God knows how far along it's going to be. Oh, there it is. So like a grass patch. So we put it in there, we can get, end up with a patch of grass, and then we just sell the barrel, and the grass stays behind, but the barrel on that disappears. So we might look at putting a little bit of grass down there, and a bit of grass like around the fields, and just to sort of make it look how it should, especially this grass texture. It just doesn't it doesn't look right to me. Obviously, the ideal thing would be for giants to give us a grass texture tool which will obviously paint the grass but actually allow it to regrow so we can harvest it at the moment it just doesn't do anything it just sits there so right, 
so we're just about done with this already. Let's get the plough over here and plough the field. Alright, done. Put that out. He reckons he's finished, but you can see he hasn't. But we'll go and um, unload this guy first and we might just try and fill up one like pig area at a time. Not try and spread it around too much. Um, Alright. It's definitely not finished. Nowhere near it, but. It helps us because then we don't have to do quite as much all by ourselves. Right, so I think. I'll stop him there. Jump back to this guy. I think I did. I did. I turned it down one. As far as the volume goes, I don't know if that was too much, but I felt like it was a little bit quiet for me and my headphones. I'll tip that off while that's going through. Let's have a quick look, as I said, at uh, maybe an 8x2 because I sort of wanted to stick like some grass and stuff along here. Stick a few along there. Hopefully we can... I won't do too many. I'll leave it like that and then we can come back and um, sell those. Because it's going to take um, forever for me to actually sell them all because We've got so much, as far as placed items in the world, it, it takes a while. I don't know if we get the harvester out of there now, but... So we go into our garage, um, I should be... Eventually, it always um, goes terribly slow. I mean, it's probably not even worthwhile putting that grass down, to be honest. Because it takes this long to load. <laughs> There's too much stuff in the map. Still not happy. Oh, there we go. Finally. Um, actually, it's right there. If we go sell, yes, yes, you'll see how long it's going to take for me to actually get rid of just this. Every time it comes up, it freezes like this. It comes up like as if the whole program just completely died. Like with the the yellow, or the yellow, the blue circle, the spinny, spinny thing in it, like the loading thing on the mouse, which you guys can't see, and it just takes absolutely forever. So let me just get rid of that one. At least give us a way to get in there the field, and I'll do. It. I'll get rid of these other ones off camera because it's going to take. I say it's going to take forever. It's um, it's crazy. At least now when we do um. We do do some more builds, so we're not going to have to put as many trees and bushes and stuff down because we're going to have grass growing everywhere. So we're not going to have to fill up these stupid, you know, grassy areas which don't have grass with bushes and uh, that sort of thing. So it'll be all right. right. We'll tip this off and then jump in our harvester. We'll have a quick look at the. Um, grass texture while we're there. So you can see the grass is there. We go to this and go grass um, growth. You'll see the green there. It's growing. So we'll be able to cut that um, cut that and then it should regrow and all those sorts of things. So it's going to be awesome. Alright, I think I'm just going to stick this guy in here. I'm not going to actually take him down to where we usually put him. Down in with the rope of panther down there. Because he does fit in here just. Just. Sort of. Not really. It's just the top of the exhaust. Oh no, there we go. Done. I think if I shut the door. Or attempt to shut the door, it won't. Yeah, no. It's not a good idea. Anyway, 
Cycle back through to you. Get out and we'll drop the trailer off just here and grab our play out. Uh, this way. Hit box. See, I mean, even these bushes here, like I could go through and sell all this and move it out of the way now because we can have grass growing all through here. But that's going to take forever. Like even through there, get rid of all them bushes and um, so these, especially those stupid hitboxes there. Don't think no, those what, cones aren't hittable, but the um, yellow drums are. All right, start down here that way at least. We'll have a bit of a gap between the field and the drums. So I can actually get around to selling them. Obviously off camera. I don't want to do it on camera because you guys have already seen how long it takes and I've no doubt you guys don't want to sit there and watch me sell a bunch of silly things and I still can't get that spot. But that is an awesome mod. So if you guys don't have it, um, go to farming simulator 19 modscom um, It'll be in there somewhere, probably in the first couple of pages. But then again, by the time you see this, it might not be. Um, yep, he's going doing his own thing. So we can jump back in this thing and fix up what he's missed. I think I don't think I've got many other mods. Um, I can't remember now because I I end up just downloading mods because they look awesome, and then I well, half the time I completely forget what I've even downloaded. So I kind of need to go back and have a look through it. I know I've downloaded a lot of um, John Deere equipment, which I did use on our John Deere silage farm with the motocross track um, and I've also downloaded heaps of John Deere stuff since then as well because I um, I like John Deere as a manufacturer I mean I don't have a preference when you would say to me what's your favourite John Deere or New Holland or Case I, I don't have a favourite really I'm not a farmer in real life I just enjoy simulation games and Farming Simulator has been a game that I've loved since FS11. Oh yeah, I mean all tractors have their good sides and bad sides I suppose. Like, um, I like the John Deere stuff but some of them, some of the tractors just aren't powerful enough to buy the gear that we want to use so I don't use them as often as I would like. So we need to either wait for Giants to release maybe a John Deere DLC which I don't know if it'll happen or not, but it'll be nice. Um, or the modded community to release some more John Deere tractors and stuff. I know there was a John Deere 9R or a 9X or something that someone had released as well. I haven't downloaded that as yet. I wanted to sort of wait and um, allow some other people to sort of download it and test it first before I spent too much time you know buying it putting it in the game and realizing that it's not up to um, a standard or my standard of mods I I don't know how to mod so I can't be too critical of some people but um, some of the mods that people do release it is nowhere near finished and I don't know why they release them when they're not done but, um, doesn't make sense to me. If you want it to be released or be tested by people, then surely there's a place that we can post our mods and ask people to test them for us and report bugs instead of trying to share it to the whole farming simulator community where people don't want to actually test mods, they just want to sort of play a finished product. But yeah, um, Majority of the mods I've seen are pretty good. There's been a few that are terrible. 
um, I won't go naming them, but no, there are some terrible ones and there are some really, really amazing ones, so it's a credit to um, a lot of the people in the modding community and how good some of the mods actually are. Oh, I knew I was going to miss that tiny little bit then. Just got this little bit to do and then a little bit over there and we'll head up to that next field and hire a worker again and get him to do his thing. Just um this cultivator's pretty slow. I don't know if it's um I think it's a new purchase because I don't think we can plant straight to our ground. I think that's why I did pick it up. I can't remember though, so don't quote me on it. But I think that's why I decided to get it. Right, jumping this guy. Uh, did a pretty good job. Got most of it. Well, down this end anyway. I haven't looked at the other end yet. Missed a little bit, but that's because of um, the fences in our house and that sort of thing, which is to be expected because the uh, workers stop well short of anything that they can run into and get stuck on, which isn't bad. But I can't wait to get course play or even the GPS mod. That'll be um, absolutely ideal. Yeah, they're probably the two most weighted for mods in FS19. That would have to be. I think I have no doubt that, that would have to be the two most weighted for mods, but I could only imagine how difficult they are to make. It's pretty much rewriting the whole game, the whole AI system in the game and stuff, so it would not be easy to um, do a mod like that. Back and grab that little bit. Oh, missed a little bit, it should be alright. That, swing around and grab this other bit, and I think that's everything. Ah, that little spot there. And I think I might grab that planter and just double check. I'm pretty sure we can't plant with it. I think we can with the other one. The um, one that we plant our wheat and stuff but not um, that one there. Oh, definitely need to get rid of a lot of these bushes around here now. Now that we can put grass in. It's, um, it's a lot better. this before we put it away. Try and get it right over there next to our other planter. Alright, see if I can repair this while we're here. No. Oops, that was too far. Oh damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. There you. Go and grab our, let's see our plant and we'll see if we can work over there. I'm pretty sure we can't. I'm pretty sure we need to um, cultivate it first. That's why we did that other field. Sunflower. Got a big massive cornfield over there. I think do corn there again and sunflower on both of these. So let me go back to corn. 
on all this, I'm pretty sure it won't work. Then again, it does. Well, why did I do that last time? Over there. For some reason, it didn't work, and I had to come back and cultivate it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's why we got it last episode. I'll do try and do a run up and then hire a worker to come back down that side and we'll go from there I think might even just cut part of this field off like we did when we are harvesting straight across this way and then I'll head down That, hire a worker. Uh, this has got heaps to do. It's done hardly anything. So I don't think it matters. I don't think we need to, to do it. Especially with that working, but I'm sure that we had to get a cultivator for that other side. I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember now. But I know we didn't have a cultivator the first time we did it, so... Unless it had something to do with that field, maybe because it had... wheat on it, or something? I don't know, but that really doesn't make sense either. Even this tractor's struggling with this... Pull it along, shouldn't be struggling this much. So um decent amount of power in it. So I think that guy will um not get all that field down the bottom. He will stop fairly short of um those barrels. Should probably have a look. He stopped way short, miles short. It's a lot shorter than I thought he would stop. It's a little bit disappointing, actually. going to take us a little while to get this touched up from the last guy. So I'd like to run grass all through there as well. Um, even though you've put this grass down, it will still remove the grass if you edit the ground or the ground texture. So what I would suggest um, if you're going to use that grass stuff is the area that you want to build, level it completely, do whatever you want to do, um, place down all those grass things to get the grass growing then sell them all and then paint in your roads and that sort of stuff because um, it's a lot easier doing it that way they're doing your roads first and then having to put all that grass stuff around the road and there's a high chance you're going to have to come back and repaint the road anyway because you're going to grass over it but um, that is my suggestion so level all this out Make sure it's all grass texture underneath. Put all those grass placeables down to start growing the grass as wild grass, and then um, then come through and paint your roads, put your bushes in, put your fences in, put your fields in, whatever you want to do. Um, that'll be a lot better than doing it the way I did it. Um, if you guys have seen my Ravenport. Uh, vanilla build, our easy start vanilla build. Um, you would have seen how much drama I actually had with coming back and fixing all that up afterwards, putting all that in.
terrible at reversing sometimes. Yeah, the other guy's going. He's still going, so... Try and make sure we don't miss anything on this bar, so we don't have to come back. A little bit easier said than done, but... Did all right. Um, so our Michigan map um, with our dairy farm, which is what brought, uh, let's just say, a sheet load of subscribers to the channel. It's still going. We've done the dairy farm. I've done a sugar beet farm. I'm going to add a potato farm to their area as well. I'm going to add a grain farm. Also going to add a pig farm sheep farm, horse farm, uh, cotton farm, uh, I think that might be it, just to sort of, oh and a chicken farm, um, just to have it so we've got the one, only one map, but we have more, multiple companies, let's just say multiple companies on that map, which supply the entire map with the product that they need whether it be eggs for McDonald's or the sugar beets for the sugar beet company down the bottom, the sugar uh, the sugar company or whether it be um, potatoes for the Frito-Lay like chips um, you know, all that sort of stuff I want it to be a huge supply chain like the whole industry as far as farming goes is covered in that map um, so we're supplying everything we can either do it in a Let's Play series or a time lapse series eventually once we're ready to go, or we can do it as maybe if we've got seven different companies. So you've got obviously a dairy farm, our horses, chickens, pigs, sheep, then sugar beet and potato, then we need grain and we need so we've got more than more than seven different companies, but we could have done an episode every day, one of each company once all these other series sort of um, start to die off and, and that sort of thing, but I think that would be um, the way to go, in my opinion. That would um, work pretty well. Uh, well you missed heaps. Good on ya. I swear this guy's drunk half the time. I should have probably done a run along here first as well um, before we we actually hired him. That way the barrels sort of wouldn't have um, gotten his way. Alright, there we go. Let's try and turn around and head back down. Get those couple of bits we've missed and then I have to fix up that end up there. And then change the sunflowers and do that other side. So we don't need any straw or anything at the moment, so we're not going to put any more wheat down um, anywhere. I think we do have heaps of wheat actually stored in here, don't we? Uh, no, we might have sold it already. Or you actually no, the pigs actually eat the wheat, don't they? Oh, they do. Yeah. So we fed it to the pigs. But obviously our priority is going to be um, the corn, that's what they um, like eating most, so we need to make sure we um, smash the corn into them, keep them happy, keep them producing their babies so we can sell them and start making some money. We're not really not making any money for the farm as yet, we're still getting everything set up ready to go, ready to start making that uh, making that big money I really don't know how much money I mean we would make in the long run from the pig farm so I think there's 120 pigs per uh, pig pen so I was thinking once we hit that 120 mark per pen taking maybe 20 pigs away out of each so like 80 pigs at a time up to the slaughterhouse and um, selling them off to them for 
all that good stuff. Bacon, and ham, and all that sort of thing. But it depends. I guess it depends on the reproduction rate, because at the moment we're at every two hours we're getting a pig. So every day uh, we're getting 12 pigs a day at the current rate. So that's pretty good. Once we get more pigs, it's only going to get better. So we'll have to um, definitely adjust that, I think. Alright, I'll roll this guy down. Definitely want to hit a hide worker, but I might wait until we turn around and come back. That way I can put that other um, tractor away and the, get rid of that cultivator. We're not going to need it. There's a reason why I brought it and I just, I don't know if I made a mistake or unless we were planning on planting uh, wheat or something and the wheat wouldn't plant without cultivation, I don't know. Actually, I'll do one run up. I'll try and line it up so hopefully he'll get at least all of that run done. Uh, where are we? Something like this. Alright, unhook that. We go to the garage. It's just going to take us forever. Again, I just want to double check these things, but. Oh, so it's going to take forever. Um, as you can see, like, the amount of bushes I've got here is just crazy. Um, I'll probably... I don't know, I can go through and get rid of all of it. I'm going to keep all the fencing and stuff. Um, I'm going to keep the bushes along the fence as we enter the field. Um, and probably the rest of the bushes, I'll just get rid of everything. Um, and then put down some of this grass and stuff and maybe put in a few bushes here and there to kind of just um, make it look a little bit different but try and reduce the amount of stuff I've actually got sitting in here in the owned items and stuff because it's gonna it's only gonna slow us down heaps as you guys already know uh, well, where are we keep going okay so we got Oh, you are kidding, are you? This took us all the way back there because I've moved the middle mouse button. What an absolute pain in the butt. So still not back there yet. Oh, come on. We should just press the home button and go right at the start and press the end button and go all the way to the end. Oh, we're not far off now. Okay, Cedar, which does all that stuff. Yeah, so it doesn't say anything about it. It says you can plant and sow fields, but it doesn't say you don't need it to be cultivated. I think that's why I got this guy. We've got that. We're going to keep that. We can get rid of our culty plow. Yes. Alright, done. So this guy and put it back. So we need to get rid of some things there. I don't know if I can cut these guys down. We drive straight through them anyway. But it's all those flowers and stuff on the ground there that um, I'd like to get rid of because we've just hit them. Hitboxes on them shouldn't even be there, I don't think. Um, I wouldn't have them there if I was to make the mod. I wouldn't have hitboxes on that. On the trees, yes, and um, and the, even those bushes, I wouldn't put hitboxes on those either because we don't really we don't really need to. Um, so there's 60 in each, and every two and a half hours, we're getting a new pig. So. 
That's good. It's only going to get better and better. I'll put that back. Shut that door. Got going not too bad. Let's unhire the worker now and we can finish off because there's only a little bit to go. And we're probably gonna have to come back and um, fertilize and weed and that sort of thing. Uh, missed that little spot there. Do we actually need to lime or anything? No, don't need to lime any of it. Good. I don't think we'll have enough manure or slurry to get the fields done, so we're going to have to we're going to have to continue on um, just using fertilizer for now, so we can start using some more eco-friendly uh, pig poo. So that's that was our long-term goal to become a self-sufficient farm using all our own uh, reusing all our own stuff manure and um, all that sort of thing I'll just quickly check and see how long I've been recording for I just missed a bloody bit we're nearly at the 45 minute mark so we'll get this one done I think that'll be it we won't get the other one done before the end of the episode but I will do it anyway um, off camera that way next episode we're going to come back and we'll um, just harvest again I suppose. Um, you guys let me know if it is becoming boring and repetitive. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to see me do as far as this farm goes, let me know in the comments section. Um, I'm trying to sort of do things a little bit different to what I would normally do. So, so we've got the time lapse series. Uh, Grizzly Mountain Forestry time lapse. We've got um, our Aussie sheep or Aussie wool series, um, our chicken farm series, and we've got this series, which is a live play or a let's play, as well as Chillington Race Stables, Phil's Brewing Dairy, and uh, what's the other one? God, there's another one, I can't even think of it. Oh, our USA series, that's it. Our Rolling Hills USA series, which, depending on how um, the guy goes with the map, if we have to start all over again once he updates that map, I might drop that completely um, and replace that series with the Michigan Supply series. So we'll have, as like I said, all the dairy, potato, sugar beets, every single company that we need um, to supply the entire map entire area Michigan keep everyone fed and happy and all that sort of thing um, one thing I want, do want to say if you guys are still here some of you um, farm manager 2018 has come out with a new DLC um, I haven't really looked at it I've sort of just seen it the other day um, you can now make your own alcohol like beer and stuff like that as part of um, the farming process so if that's something that you guys would like to see, um, I did do a fair bit of that on my channel previously, but it was never it was never that successful, unfortunately. Um, so if you guys would like to see that come back to the channel, let me know as well, um, and I'll see what I can do. I'll definitely try and um, slip that in somewhere, or we might even have to just get rid of a series of FS19 to accommodate the farm manager. Um, yeah, I'm sure we can make something happen. Might even get lucky here. Yeah, we're nearly at the 45 minute mark, but we haven't got much to go. Alright, so I've, we're still going to continue with the Let's Builds, but um, I'm kind of getting to that point where I just don't know what to do. I don't want to keep being repetitive. Um, we've pretty much done a silage build, sugarcane build. I haven't done a cotton build yet, but um, yeah, silage build with John Deere theme. Um, sugarcane 
we've done the dairy we've done the horse we're doing the chickens as a like a time-lapse series um, we haven't done pigs yet so that's one thing I've been asked to do a pig build so that'll probably be done in the Michigan map anyway but um, I'm hoping that we can get some pretty cool um, some new pig areas some pig buildings that sort of thing um, hopefully what a lot bigger than this maybe one that we can hold 500 or a thousand pigs in at a time like a really really big pig area that'll be ideal so there's a couple of builds we're going to do cotton we're going to do pigs um, but I think so I think we've pretty much done everything else there's not much else that we can do you know, other than just to keep repeating ourselves I've um, done a couple of vanilla builds at Fullsburn and uh, Ravenport I haven't done one at Estancia Lapacho um, that's one we could do as well just a standard vanilla build there um, it is a modded map but it is a mod hub mod so everybody will have access to it in game so I think that's probably another thing we can do but hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode we're going to end it here so if you did smash the like button as I've said during the episode if you have any ideas let me know leave it in the comment section etc etc if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so and head on over and check out our other series and our let's build playlist as well it's been Bruno thanks for watching see you again soon